start uh, round number three of the morning. Počinjemo sa treći čas. We're looking now at Albion Ballinger. So gledamo uh, Albion Ballinger. Ballinger was an American who spent much of his life in England. S- s- uh, Ballinger je Amerikanac koji je većinu života proveo u Engleskoj. And while he was in England, he developed some new theories about the sanctuary. Uh, dok je bio u Engleskoj, razvio je neke nove ideje o svetinji. Ballinger's basic objection to the sanctuary started with the book of Hebrews. Ballinger njegova uh, osnovna uh, prigov, osnovni prigovor je počeo sa Jevrejima, na uposnici Jevrejima. Ključni tekst Ključni tekst je bio Jevrejima posnica 6. poglavlje 19. 20. stih. He, according to his interpretation of this text, Prema njegovom tumačenju ovog teksta, Christ when he went back to heaven, when he ascended to heaven. Krist kad je otišao na nebo, nazad kad se vratio na nebo. He entered directly into the most holy place. Uh, ušao je direktno u svetinje na svetinjama, svetinje na svetinjama. And uh, so if Christ entered into the most holy place, a, ako je Hrist ušao u svetinje nad svetinjama 31. godine nove ere šta je ostalo onda da se desi 44. godine Christ already started according to Ballinger Christ already started his day of atonement work in Znači, prema Ballingeru, uh, Hrist je već poč- odpočeo svoj, svoj službu očišćenja kad je otišao na nebu, u svetinje nad svetinjama. So, znači, koja je svrha onda 1844. godine? It really loses its, its reason for Od, izgubi razlog postojanja, taj datum. Now he did try to say that something happened there in 1844. Probao je da kaže se nešto ipak desilo te godine 1844. but it had nothing to do with what Adventists teach. Ali ni uopšte povezano sa onim što Adventisti uče. And I won't get into all of the details of that. Znači nećemo ući u te detalje. But he basically argued that Jesus already started the day of atonement. In 31 AD. Ali to njegov bio argument da Isus već odpočeo uh, službu očišćenja u 31. godine nove ere. And another major point of Ballinger. I još jedna tačka uh, kod njega. Is that he felt that when someone sin in the Old Testament times. On je smi, uh, mislio da kad neko pogreši, zagreši u Starom zavetu. That that automatically da to automatski prlja svetinju, da. And so still today when someone sins, automatically the heavenly sanctuary is is defiled. I čak i danas kad neko čim neko sagreši, nebeska svetinja se prlja, ili. Ja to što adventisti uče. Znači, automatski se prlja svetinja. And then when the sacrifice is offered, he th- he taught that cleanse the sanctuary. Onda on je učio da kad se kad se žrtve prinesu, onda se svetinja očišćava, čisti. So it was just a one stage atonement. Znači, bio to je bilo očišćenje samo jedne jednog stepena, da kažem. One step atonement. Yeah. Yes. One jed, stepen očišćenje jednog stepena. Znači, da, da to sumiramo sa sljedećim formulom. Greh prlja. Da. Automatski. Krv čisti. Znači, already cleansed their sin from the sanctuary. Znači, on je smatrao da ti dnevni, kako, dnevni žrtve su automatski 
Z New Wing Gresi već automatski bili očišćeni. Da. Dnevna žrtva je već očistila sve, ne nema potrebe za božiti. Da, to. So what was left for 1844? Znači šta je ostalo za 1844. godine? Well for him 1844 only had to do with Satan, the scapegoat. Znači za njega ta godina je samo bila povezana sa Sotonom, ona kako se scapegoat. This is the time when, when the Azazel. Azazel, da, znači Azazel. The time when Azazel was judged. Znači to je vreme kad je Azazel bio osuđen. But not when God's people are are judged. A ne kad Božji narod se sudi, osuđen. Another basic point of Ballinger. Još jedna glavna tačka njegova od Ballingera is that he rejected the idea of an investigative judgment. On je odbacio ideju istražnog suda. For Ballinger the gospel was very important. Za Ballingera evanđelje je bilo jako važno. This is the good thing about Ballinger. Ovo je dobra stvar kod Ballingera. He believed in assurance of salvation. On je verovao o sigurnosti spasenja. But he felt that the, that a doctrine of the investigative judgment took away your assurance. Ali on je smatrao da doktrina istražnog suda je oduzela od nas uh, oduzela spasenje od nas. Sigurno spasenje. And so he said there cannot be any investigative judgment of God's people. Znači on je smatrao da ne zbog toga ne postoji istražni sud kod Božeg naroda. So those were his basic objections. To su bile njegove glavne uh, glavni prigovori. But it really pulls the the rug right out from under the sanctuary doctrine. Ali znači to to stvarno izlači uh, temelj da kažem ispod istine o doktrini. Istina o svetinji. Well there were those who said Ellinger you are not uh, you're not you're not interpreting the Bible correctly. Neki su rekli njemu Ballinger ti ne tumačiš Bibliju kako bi trebao. Tačno. Ellen White appealed to Ballinger to realize what he was doing. Ellen White se obratila Ballingeru i da shvati ono što on da on shvati što radi. He wrote him many letters uh, urging him to to realize that he was not he, that he was twisting the scriptures. Uh, mnoga pisma mu pisala da on shvati da je on da je on um, Bibliju da je izopačio. Da pogrešno tumačenje Biblije. But he insisted he was right. Ali on je ipak o, ostao pri svome i da je on ta upravo. And so the brothers invited him to the general conference there in uh, 1905. Onda su ga braća pozvali na generalnu konferenciju 1905. godine. And they heard what he had to say. Uh, saslušali su ga što treba da kaže. And they uh, rejected those ideas as not not biblical. I ono su odbacili njegove ideje na osnovu nisu biblijske. And there were several books that were written in response to Ballinger. I par knjiga su bili napisani uh, u odgovoru Ballingera. The, the one that directly replied to him was the one written by E. E. Andros. Uh, ona koja je direktno uh, koja je bio direktan odgovor na Ballingera je bila knjiga koju je napisao E. E. Andros. It was called a more excellent ministry. A knjiga se zvala više uzvišenije služba. And then two other uh, books, classic books about the sanctuary were written about the same time. Još dve knjige o svetinji su bile napisane u isto vrijeme. Haskell wrote a book called The Cross and Its Shadow. Uh, Haskell napisao knjigu uh, Krst i njegov i Senka. I think you must have a copy of that. Da li imamo tu knjigu gore u biblioteci? Gilbert. Gilbert napisao jednu knjigu. Gilbert was a Jew. On je bio Jevrejin, Gilbert. Who was converted to Christianity into the Seventh-day Adventist message. Koji je bio obraćen u Adventističku crkvu. And he wrote several books uh, about the sanctuary message. I on je par knjiga napisao o istini o svetinji. Ballinger became very bitter. Ballinger se naljutio, ja. And he started writing bitterly against the Adventist Church. I on je baš na ljuti to počeo da govori protiv Adventističke crkve. He wrote a book called Cast Out for the Sake for the Cross of Christ. Napisao je knjigu uh, Odbačen zbog uh, krsta Hristovog. Thrown out, cast out. Znači yeah, izbačen and, od zbog uh, krsta Hristovog. And one called 40 Fatal Errors. I je druga knjiga koja je zvana 40 fatalnih grešaka. 
So that's Ballinger and that's the turn of the century. To the Ballinger e uh, početak Any questions about this yeah. phase, this period of time here? Nema nikakvih pitanja u vezi ovog perioda vremena. Let's move then to the 1940s. Idemo sad u 1940-im godinama. 1930s and 40s, yes. Znači 30-im godina i 40-im godina. And we have someone that uh, is a little closer to home to you by the name of Conradi. Znači neko je uh, koji je malo bliže nama, a to je Conrad. Conradi. And Conradi was a uh, well, you can tell me probably as much about his history as I can tell you. Because he was a division president here in in uh, Europe. On je bio predsjednik divizije ovdje u Europi. And he established many of the churches uh, around in the different parts of of Western and Eastern Europe. I osnovao mnoge crkve u zapadnoj i istočnoj Europi. And then there was his counterpart down in Australia, W. W. Fletcher. I njegov, kažemo, suprostrednik uh, Fletcher iz Australije. <laughs> Do we have someone from Australia here? Yeah. <laughs> you are from Australia, that's right, okay. Okay, well, uh, we won't blame you too much. It's all right, nothing to do with you. <laughs> all right. Uh, Conradi was a very powerful man, very Conrad, charismatic man. Conrad je bio jako harizmatičan i moćan čovjek. And he has left his stamp upon Europe more than any other Adventist. I on je ostavio svoj, svoj značaj, da kažem, na Evropi više nego iko uh, u Evropi, Adventista. He, he had problems with the sanctuary doctrine. Imao problema sa doktrinom o svetinji. And he had problems with the I imao problema sa duh proroštva i Ellen White. And these same problems have existed in Europe to this very day because Conradi did not lay a foundation of believing the sanctuary or the spirit of prophecy. I ove, dan danas imao problema sa ljudima koji ne vjeruju u svetinji i u duh proroštva zbog ove um, foundations now the untold story is that at first he did accept her counsel but she pointed out some problems with his moral life and he was not willing to acknowledge that that existed I on nije bio voljan da prihvati uh, da je to postojalo u njegovom životu. And so he rejected her counsel in other areas too. I zbog toga je odbio njen savjet u tim drugim um, molim u, i na drugim poljima. My teacher Dr. Hazel who taught me the class in doctrine of the sanctuary. Uh, moj predavač Hazel koji je mene predavao meni predavao o svetinji. He came from Europe. On je došao iz Evrope. And his father worked very closely with Conradi. And he told us this story. That just before the general conference of 1932. Uh, yeah, 1931, I guess. Was the, conference, the year before that, he came to Dr. Došao je kod kuće uh, oca doktora Hazela. I skriptu doneo te debljine. And he said this manuscript, but he said first of all, I will become general conference president next year at the general conference. I rekao ja ću postati predsjednik generalne konferencije sljedeće godine. And when I am elected, i kad me izaberu, I will publish this manuscript. Izdaću ovu skriptu. And within one or two years, Ellen White will be finished in the church. No one will believe her anymore. Well, he went to the general conference that next year. 
And he was not elected general conference president. I nisu ga izabrali za predsjednika. And so then he came back to Europe. On se vratio u Europu. And I understand he stood up to preach at some important meeting. I kao što razumem, ustao da propoveda na nekom važnom sastanku. He was division president. Bio predsjednik divizije. And he announced I am leaving the Adventist church. Izjavio je ja napuštam Adventističku crkvu. Can you imagine your division president doing that at some public meeting? Možete zamisliti da vaš predsjednik divizije da to tako nešto kaže na javnom sastanku. But that's what happened. Tako se desilo. And uh, he became a Seventh Day Baptist. I postao je baptista sedmog dana. Uh, he basically had the same problems with the sanctuary as Ballinger and so I won't go specifically into his situation. On je uglavnom imao iste probleme sa svetinjom kao što je Ballinger imao. And W. W. Fletcher down in Australia had the same problems. I Fletcher u Australiji imao iste probleme. I had another teacher at Andrews whose name is W. G. C. Murdoch. Okay, znači imao sam drugog predavača na Andrewsu W. G. C. Murdoch. British a, a delightful British gentleman. Znači iz britanske And I stayed in his house. He let me rent his little house that he uh, provided for a, my uh, during the time when I was a very poor student in in seminary. Ja ne izdao meni njegovu kuću dok sam bio znači malo siromašni student na fakultetu. And uh, he told me this story about Conradi. Ja mi ovo priču rekao ispričao o Conradiu. He said Conradi came to visit me over in England. Konrad je došao da me posjeti u Engleskoj. And he told me, Murdoch, I want you to help me. I rekao mi je, Murdoch, ja hoću da ti meni pomogneš. I have my colleague Fletcher down in Australia. Imam svog kolegu Fletchera u Australiji. And I will take care of Europe. I ja ću da se, da se, da se pobrinem u Evropi. But I need someone to take care of England. A moram neko da se pobrine o Engleskoj. I zajedno ćemo da napravimo reformu u ovoj crkvi. I da skroz sklonimo istinu o svetinji i poruke Elena White. I napravit ćemo crkve progresivnom i interesantnom. Murdoch je bio samo mladi čovjek u to vreme. A Murdoch je bio samo mladi čovjek u to vreme. He looked him straight in the eye and he says I don't want to have anything to do with that plan. Pogleda ga pravo u oči i kaže ja neću ništa da imam s ovim planovima. And uh, that just tells a little bit about the great dream that Conradi had of changing this church and getting rid of these these offensive doctrines. I to samo malo kaže o tom velikom snu što je imao ili planu koji je imao Conradi da promeni temelje i doktrine naše crkve. Well, who wrote in defense of the doctrine during this time? Ko je u odbranu svetinje napisao knjigu u ovo vreme? There's one major work written by M. L. Andreasen. Uh, M. L. Andreasen napisao je jedno veliko delo u odbranu svetinja. And he wrote a book that you probably also have in your library. Napisao je jednu knjigu koju najverovatnije imamo u biblioteci. Simply called The Sanctuary. Zove se Svetinja. It's still in print today and it's uh, used quite widely. Danas još uvijek se izdaje i koristi se za širom sveta. The one slight problem I have with Andreasen's book. Jedan mali problem koji imam sa knjigom od Andreasen is that he places a lot of emphasis upon the sinless perfection of the final generation. On jako stavi emphasis, kažem, naglasak na Sinful Sinless perfection of the final generation. Bezgrešno savršenstvo konačne generacije, zadnje generacije. And he argues that until this happens, Christ cannot come. On govori dok se ovo ne desi, Hrist ne može se vratiti. Because he this must happen in order to vindicate God. Znači ovo mora se desi da vindicate to to justify God. Da opravda Boga. Znači ovo se mora desiti da opravda Boga. Now I believe part of what he says is correct. Ja vjerujem da deo onoga što on kaže je tačno. But his emphasis I I think was a was based upon 
a view of a sinful nature of Christ, for Ali njegov naglasak je bio na grešnoj Hristovoj prirodi. And some other theological problems which I will let uh, your dean Alexander sort out for you at I another class. Neki drugi teološki problemi koji će dopustiti vašem dekanu da vam objasni. But in general his book is an excellent introduction to the sanctuary. Ovo generalno njegova knjiga je dobar uvod za svetinju, za proučavanje svetinje. Any question about this period? Nema pitanja o ovom periodu. I understand that Conradi did not come to this part of Europe very much. Kako kako znam Conradi nije dolazio u ovaj deo, u ovom delu Evrope puno. Is that right? Da li to tačno? Do you hear of Conradi? Is his influence strong here in Da li ste čuli za njega da njegov uticaj ovdje i što ostavio? Ne. Vaša vera ovdje u doktrini je jača nego u nekim drugim dijelima Evrope. Nadam se. I should tell you, I just returned from, I was just in Czech Republic. Tad sam bio u Češkoj republici. Czech Republic, Konradi's influence is very strong. U Češkoj utjecaj Konradi je jako snažno i veliko. And last Sabbath here, yesterday, I preached in the downtown church. I znači, juče sam propovedao u glavnoj crkvi. In Czech Republic, I was asked to preach that Sabbath in the downtown church. I u Češkoj sam isto bio znamljeno da propovedam u toj glavnoj crkvi isto. The pastor spoke good English, and he was going to translate for me. Pastor, jako dobro priča engleski, i on je treba da mi prevodi. He asked me, "What are you preaching about?" Pitao me o čemu ćeš da propovedaš. And I told him about my sermon on the sanctuary. I rekao sam mu da ću o svetini da govorim. He said, "Well, I don't believe that." Kaže, a ja u to ne verujem. So I preached a sermon, and it was translated by a pastor who did not believe what I was saying. Ja sam propovedao ovaj propoved i preveo ga pastor koji ne vjeruje ono što sam ja govorio. Fortunately the workers meeting I was there for a whole week preaching on the sanctuary to the pastors. Ali dobro što ja sam tu cijele sedmice bio i propovedao o svetinji to cijele tim propovednicima. This man and I and Dr. Moskala we spent many hours together. I ovaj propovednik ja i doktor Moskala smo mnoge sate proveli zajedno. He was an honest man. Bio je iskren čovek. On je predavao na fakultetu. Neću da kažem više, da ne bi teo da znam ko je on. Da vi znate ko je on. A na kraju sedmice sad vidim da je istina o svetinji je ipak, doktrina o svetinji je istina. Uvijek imam neke pitanja, ali je još uvijek imam pitanje, ali vidim da tu ima veliki dokaz da je ipak to istina. U svojoj kući, u svom domu, ima tu čašu koju je Konradi koristio za sve tu večeru, te prve subote u Češkoj. Uticaj Konradija je bio jako velik i snažan nad njim. A je bio sam zahvalan da on ipak teo da vidi još više dokaza u vezi svetinje. Možemo da idemo do sljedeće teme? 60. i 70. godina. Ovo je malo teža tema da vam govorim. Što je Konradi sad mrtav, umro. Ballinger je mrtav i Kenwright je mrtav. Ali Kenwright je mrtav i Kenwright je isto mrtav. A ove imena koje sad stavljam na tabli, oni su još živi. 
therefore I want to say again, I have nothing against these people. Ja štampu bi teo da ponovim da ja nemam ništa protiv ovih ljudi. I love them. Ja njih volim. And they have done much to help me as they have shared with me truths about the gospel. I oni su im mnogo pomogli kad su delili sa mnom istinu o evanđelju. But I disagree, thank you, with their teachings on the sanctuary. Ali ne slažem se sa njihovim tumačenjem o svetinji. And I pray for them very often that God will bring them back to preach this message again with power. Ja se često molim za njih da će Bog da ih vrati da opet propovedaju ovu poruku sa snažno. Two major figures are Robert Brinsby. Dve glavne figure ili osobe su Robert Brinsby. Brinsby. And Desmond Ford. And Desmond Ford. These are both two very good Australians. Australians. Dobre. I made I made a promise to God. When I started teaching the doctrine of the sanctuary about 15 years ago. Obećao sam Bogu, napravio sam Bogu jedno obećanje kad sam počeo da predajem doktrinu o svetinji 15 godina. That I would not talk publicly about people, but only about issues. Da neću javno govoriti o ljudima, nego samo o problemima. And so when I lecture in my classes at the seminary, and there are teachers some at some other college that are that are teaching what I believe to be heresy, I don't mention them by name. I kad ja predajem na našem fakultetu i onda spomenem, govorim o tim problemima koji ovi drugi profesori na drugim fakultetima koji ne veruju u naše doktrini, ja ne spomenem njihova imena, nego samo problema koji oni... But in this case, there is a... I make this one exception. Ali ovdje samo je jedan izuzetak. Because these two individuals have become so interwoven with the history of the sanctuary doctrine at this time that it's impossible not to mention them. Ove dve osobe se tako se uplele u doktrini svetinje da je nemoguće da ih ne spomenemo. But I also promised God that 15 years ago if I have to mention someone, especially these two people. Da, ali isto sam obećao Bogu pre 15 godina da ako treba da spomenem neke ljude, naroče da ove dve osobe that we will have a prayer time before we talk about them. Da ćemo se pomoliti pre nego što pričamo o njima. That we will lift them up before God. Da ćemo ih uzdići pred Bogom. I would not talk that I would about people publicly about issues, but only about... Dabno govoriti o dodinu njihova srca za lepotu, o ljudima nego o slemima. Can we just bow our heads for prayer? Da se pomolimo. Father in heaven, I thank you for my brothers Robert Brinsmead and Desmond Ford. Oče na nebu, hvala ti za naše. Onda spomenem problemima koji, govorimo o tim profesorima, drugim, ovi drugi fakultetima u našoj doktrini, koji ne veruju u njihova imena. Love justification. Problema koji oni, ne nego samo problema. Kako su oni meni naučili da volim opravdanje verom? They have shared with me how to have assurance of salvation. Oni su podelili sa mnom kako da imam sigurnost u spasenju. Sanctuary doc, history of the time that it's impossible to mention them. Ove dve se uplele, dve osobe se tako znači u doktrini da ih ne spomenemo. Ne moguće da ih... But, and I still, Lord, want to believe that their hearts are honest to accept truth as it is revealed to them. Sam obećao Bogu da hoće da verujem s godine da ako iskreni da neke ljudi treba da spomenemo dve osobe otkrivim. We will have a prayer that we before time da ćemo se pomenemo and to that we will lift them speak ill of them up before God Bogom and if there's opportunity to reach out and to share with them the good news I'm not going to tell you the man who said says a lot of blame him a cinema double vest or sweating you see Paul only our heads for prayer that what we see it's may not and I thank you for me made in Desmond Edin or to enable Ford and the spawn and what is in a singer or in judgment i mnogoslovi ovo što sad budemo rekli, da ne bude to rečeno u osuđivanju ili u ljutnji. Opravdanje. But just tell.
And I said that their hearts are want to believe the honest the truth that uh, except revealed to them as it is. Ne hoće da verujem, samo obećao Bog iskreni da pod. Neki ljudi student does for uh, Robert Brinsmead was very a very popular speaker from Australia. Kad sam bio na fakultetu, student na fakultetu, uh, Robert Brinsmead je bio popularan govornik iz Australije. And if there's opportunity reach out and opportunity to read the to share with them the good news srce za lepotu ljudima nego s njima dobru problemima tinji ta faze in the 50s and on into the 60s u 50-im i 60-im godinama he had an experience of ja da spomenem anger or in meant judgment slovo je što sad i mnogo budemo rekli u ne bude to rečivanju ili u osuđivanju this case ljutni prva poruka se zvala faza perfekcionista. And he went from church to church in New Zealand and America teaching these views. I šao po crkvama širom Australije uh, Jesus name. Zovime amen. amen. O ovome. But ko je bila tell... suština njegove poruke tada? Uh, he saw that there was a heavenly sanctuary and then the earthly sanctuary was our body that was similar to the heavenly. Ima nebeska svetinja. He was very eager from Australia speak. Sam bio na fakultetu. Oh, yeah. Katetu, uh, student na fakultetu bio Robert Brinsmead, govornik iz Australije. Popularan go. The courtyard was our physical body. Uh, I predvorje? The courtyard. Yeah. je bilo naše fizičko telo, ta faza. Holy place was our mind. I svetinje je bilo naš um. And 50s. Holy place was on into the 60s. Pedesetim i godinama. Had an experience. He had. Onda spomenem. It's a, a finger or in uh, judgment. He saw that during the time of the investigative judgment starting in 1844. I on je vidio da za vreme početka uh, istražnog suda 1844. godine God's people will not only be sinless, they will uh, be teaching these things. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. So basically, they would have saw that he said there was a heaven not speaker from Australia. Kada u 60-im godinama. Now his greatest uh, debater that debated against him was Desmond Ford. Nego najveći Iz svetinja was our mind. naš um. Nije je bilo na njega. On into the sixth place was... Pedesetim i godinama. Nisi u redu. Nisi u And he debated tačan. with him about righteousness by faith. I on je s njim debatirao u ovezi opravdanje verom. And... In 44. Vidio da za vreme... 1870. Oko 1844. God... Not only be... 60s. Sinless. They... Bože biti je bez greja, samo da će Australije, uh, on je bio u, ubeđen sa strane Forda. Ford ga je ubedio. Ova faza se zvala opravdanje verom. Če njihovu greja, oni će imati, znači, was our body that was similar to the heavenly. He wasn't a powerful preacher. Nije bio silan propovednik, but a powerful writer. Nego silan pisac, autor. Popularan go. And just the uh, here that debated debate Desmond Ford against him was which is super. Nego najbolje. The 80 degrees. Ma? All of his followers would turn with him and go with him. On je imao nevjerovatnu mogućnost da se okrene 180 stepeni u drugom smeru. Godinama nisi isto s njim se okrenu u tom smeru. I remember receiving I on je u paper. Danje verom. And in 44. Vidio da za vreme 
ka Easter 1874 in which he said I've changed my mind. Da je rekao promijenio sam razmišljanje svoje. I reject those things that I said. Perfektio sam odbijam te stvari koje sam pre rekao. And he started preaching this message of justice. On je bio i počeo da propove u Ane Forda. Je ubedio. And righteousness was all this is based. Those issues of This zvala ova faza će njihovo ugradanje verom. Were were powerful. I te uh, seme su bile snažne u, u tom časopisu Present Truth, sadašnja istina. Istina za ovo vreme. Da. Bili su silni. Nije bio silan pis, nego sad autor. Popularan go. Zavor je? Ja sam tek bio diplomirao sa fakultete i mislio sam da razumem evanđelje. Imao nevjerovatno, on je okrenuo sto sam mogućnost za ni u drugom 80 stepenjama smeru, isto s njim smeru. Mi se okrenuo u tom smeru. I on je, i svaki sam pogrešio. Bio sam u šoku. Bio sam u šoku. Gde je pročitao, ja sam žurnalu, razmišljanje sam, perfekciju. I shvatio sam da je sam od koje sam pre rekao. I počeo, on je bio u priča koju ću vam kasnije reći u ovoj sedmici. I mnogo sam naučio od ovom periodu 70. I snažne u tome. Znači, suština je bila uvijek sadašnja istina, su present true, istina, da, ne za ovo vreme. Bili su silni. Nije bio silni. Ali sam shvatio da je on nije propovedao o celom evanđelju, izbacio je svećenje. Diplomirao vreme, baš mi je trebalo što je imao sa fakultete, umem je evanđelje. On je imao nevjerovatno okrene 180 stepeni u drugom smeru, u godinama. U stvari, tačno deset godina kasnije, 1980. Sam u šoku. Ja sam žurnala od njega koje... Ako je imalo promenjeno ime u žurnalu, meni ja sam razmišljenja sam. Perfekcija sam, i shvatio sam da je koje sam pre rekao. I samo da se vratimo na još jedan korak. Mnogo, 1980. godine je napisao knjigu Osuđen, snažne utje. I šta je ono suđe od sadašnja istina? Istina za ovo vreme, da. I istinu o svetinji. Znači, te godine, 1980. on je odbacio doktrine o svetinji. On nije... On je izbacio evanđelju. Cijelo je... But I needed... ...većenje. Preaching at that time. Vreme baš diplomirao. Kako može nam već mi trebalo što je... Sigurnost spasenja. Sam deset stepen. Onda je odbacio. Godina kasnije, deset godina desete, 1980. Većina su u šoku. Ja sam žurnala od njega i mnogi su napustili našu crkvu u to vreme. I should not say they were leaving the Adventist church, but they were rejecting the sanctuary. Many of them stayed, but they just said, well, we don't need to believe the sanctuary anymore. Back up, there's one. No, let me back up. Odbili to istinu o svetinji. Samo da se vrati rkvi. Korak. Pročitao u knjigu Osuđen. Sada te godine na pen. This time, they also desmond. This is upon just. Či su što. 991 page manuscript. I u ovo isto vreme je Desmond Fines ovo vreme. Skriptu od istinu 91 strana. Znači te godine koje je osnovno doktrinu bacio o svetinju. 1980. godine. Ovo je bilo za vreme evanđelju. Cijel je o tom pre razgovarali. 
Kako možemo imati assurance? Imamo njegovo putovanje ovdje, Brinsmead. 1981. Odbacio. Godina kasnije, pisao je članak u desete. Proglas. Subotarstvo. Napustili naš... Nisu i ovdje he reject, sorry? Istinu odbili to, samo da se vratimo o svetinji, a sedmi dan. Biblija je apostol Pavle. I u ovoj isto vrijeme za ovo vreme. Vreme je Desmond i istinu Bibliju stvarno. I Pavle nikad ne bacio doktrinu jer devet se otkojemo. Znači, ako hoćete da sve tko se subotio je u neću te ne bom prerazgovarao. U redu je. Kako možemo imati njegov prince mid u putovanju ovdje? Sam deset stepeni, ali par jesu. Pisao je članak u kod Draga. Su napustili naš... Za njim. Kažemo o života. Znači, 81. godine odbacu. Samo da se vratim o sedmi dan. To su u antističkom putovanju, da kažem. Posle ovoga počinje da odbacu za ovo vreme. Znači, delove Biblije. Ulazi u doktrinu Bacio Ako hoćete Destruktivna metoda Tumačenje Biblije Par jesu. Možda ste se iznadili o mojoj istini o subotu i kako sam odbacio subotu u mom članku, ali i čekaj. Otkrio života. Here's where he is. Here's where he is. Here's where he is. Here's where he is. Samo da se vratim godine od Batu je predstavio univerzalizam koje znači da će svi biti spašeni. Bez obzira šta radi Bog ne za ovo vreme. Počinje da odbavi Biblije. Poče delove zi u Brinsmead Brinsmid je danas agnostik. Znači ne zna da li postoji Bog uopšte. To da, destruktivna Biblije. Tumačenje. I restoran. Koja uglavnom servira hranu koju jedu. Možda se ste nadjeli istinje o subotu u mom članku. Subotu u članku, ali i čekaju. Otkrio. I glavne veče za igru i za unije petak uveča. Svi biti spašeni.
Za mene je ovo obzira šta radi. Bog no počinje da odbavljaju za ovo vreme. Da je robitom čoveku. Koje od istine. Da li postoji ne zna da uopšte. Oni stepeni koji je vajt predestruktivna metoda od crkve tumačenje. To se njemu i desilo. Ok, just another word about Brinsme, then we'll take our last break before our last... Zadnje. Uglavnom, koji je uvira hranu koju sebi jedu. Možda se ste izanadili, Ford trenutno nije adventista. He was until a year ago, but I should not say that. Until the last year. Night of 1980, at his restaurant, and party against the sanctuary message. After the 80th anniversary, when he wrote his book, Igor Vesel, he was the first one. 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 Heresy aside. I brače su ga bez obzira šta rad stranu. On je to nije se slagao s tim, odbio ih je. Prava za probovednika ga. And he still truth. On ministry. Od otine isti. News. And he predicts what God is going to happen when one. Či ne zna da li postoji. Preko televizije, radija. Kroz knjiga i član. Ne, to se njemu ide. His name was still on the books of the church in Northern California. Njegove knjige su još uvijek bile. Before our last day, last break. Na Kaliforniji. Zadnje. Which Adventists don't eat. Da, Adventista. Uglavnom, sebi. The crucial doctrine of Adventism, the sanctuary doctrine is wrong. Ali je jednostavno rekao da je istinista. Adventizma znači dok nije istinita. Ja sam par pisama dobio od... Nekad je napisao 80. godina i gledao svu knjigu istine o smrzi unije. Da odbacim ovu glupost, da kažem, doktrinu o svetinji koju ja propovedam i učim. Obzira šta radi, on nije se slagao s tim, što u penzijonim odbio ih. U crku u Australiji, od istine, ali on zna da ako je zapita crku tamo u Severnoj Kaliforniji da prenesu njegove članstvo, oni sigurno neće. Knjiga i član kroz ske. Pre tome. Ne, to se njemu ide. Knjige su još uvijek bile. Njegove. Dobar profil, kako da kažem, legularni status, pre nego što mogu da te prenesu u drugoj crkvi, članstvo tvoje. Ali je ostavi svoje članstvo iz Kalifornije nije istinita. Sam par pisao. Sam dobio od Avendale. Pisao svu knjigu bude član crkve na Avendale. Iako je hiljadu milja dala glupost koju ja učim. On šao nije se slagao s tim, odbio ih penzijoni. I konferencija poslala delegaciju srte. Ali on zna da u Severnoj Kaliforniji crkvu tamo u njegove članstvo odnije da prenesu oni sigurno ne kroz knjiga i članstvo u tome. Ne, to se njemu ide. Pre nego što su došli kod njega, on je bio u javnosti na televiziji i govorio o stvaranju. Pre nego što da ni statio da više se mogu da te prenesu stvaranje šest dana. 
no longer a literal Adventism, the sanctuary doctrine is wrong. Ali je ono, ostavi svoj iz Kalifornije, članstvo i, oh, uh, yeah. i od početnje istinita. As they visited with him, they realized he wasn't really an Adventist. I onda kad su ga posjetili, delegacija, oni su shvatili da on više nije Adventist. And I think he came to that realization too. I ja mislim da on sam Dale Church. bude uh, čestao svu knjigu na Adventist plan crkve. No, he lived a... Sad kaže, neću da, više da budem Adventista. And he continued. Koje hiljadu milja dele... Well, I koje ja pr... for you to... učim. Da propoveda, da, da piše i da promocira njegove ideje. And I continue to pray for him. I ja nastavno se molim za njeg. And as he's one of the they sent a del conference actually visit des. Snažni propovednik kako naša crkva ikad imala uh, isti konferencija uh, delegacije. Sete. They stand with regard to Advent memory. Fenomenalna fotografična ili slikovita fotografska knjiga i član pamćenja. Paragrafs and, and whole pages of books that he can quote with Može from memory. Može da bio govorio o na televiziji and he o stvaranju. And he announced that he no longer publicly announced a literal career. No longer believed in Tako, za par minuta. Zudani status, pre nego što mogu te prenesu. Followed the basic stvaranje što je Ballinger. Zdana. Pratio te osnovne argumente Ballingera. No investigative judgment. Nema istražnog suda. And the other things. I druge stvari. After our 10 minute bro, a year, as they visited summarize on the book with him, they realized he figures now, not the people. And I think he came to came to that realization church. And I will just add that on this side now, for people, the seven volumes of the Daniel Revelation Committee. Ovdje ću sam da vam objasnim sedam tomova da piše da njegove ideje i da promocije ideje. I continue to let our church ja nastavim pray for him. And se molim za njega. He's one of the sent a del- uh, sam što naša crkva nije samo ove probleme stavila na stranu ispod tepih da kažemo da kao da, da ti problemi ne postoje. I'm actually thankful for this report and Robert brings me forcing us na televiziji govorio o stvaranju. And he publicly rezultat toga je bilo da nova generacija adventista ipak razmišlja o tome ponovo i da vidi da li je to investigirana doktrina. After, after our 10 minute break, as they visited with him, they realized summarize on the book figures now. I, now not the people. Delegacija, oni su shvatili da on više nije adventist. Toko mjesec godina da diskutuju opet ove, ove probleme. We have seven powerful volumes that give us wonderful for people. Imamo sedam uh, snažni tomova, moćni tomov. Ovo je poruci plus dozen, dozens of other articles and books that have been riz, written in the ideja. That our church and I continue to pray for him. Ja nastavno se molim za njega. And so uh, after our break we'll summarize some of the issues that we brought up and then we will Zahvalan sam što ste stavili na strauze, sumiraćemo još tih par problema koje smo govorili i idemo dalje.